<laughs> because a point for Crystal Palace at Anfield on Monday night was a good result by anyone's standards. And they take on Aston Villa today, who have won one and lost one so far this season. And I am delighted to be joined by Crystal Palace women's goalkeeper. There you go, Rachel Brown. Look, another goalkeeper for you. Or actually, should I say former goalkeeper, Chloe Morgan. Thank you for join, joining us. It's great to speak to you, Chloe. Right, we're trying to see, like I just said, how many goalkeepers we can fit on the show today. Right, you announced your retirement just a couple of weeks ago. So how does that feel for you? It's a really weird experience. Um, I think it's been a bittersweet thing. Um, you know, you never want to stop playing. You always think that you've got that one last game in front of you. And um, I think with uh, the squad selection that we've had this season, uh, you know, it's the, there's got to be that point where you really move aside to kind of bring in that new talent. And that's what we've done this season. So I feel very, very grateful and, and very happy to be passing on the gloves to, to two fantastic goalkeepers. So, yeah, it's, um, it's been sad, but also we've had the Women's Euros and uh, that's definitely kept me busy. You said about passing on the gloves. I'm going to pass you over to Rachel right now. Rachel wants to ask you a question. Yeah, so Chloe, I can't <laughs> imagine you're going to do nothing now and just put your feet up. What's next for you? Are you staying at Palace? Yes, I will be. So I'm uh, staying on with the club this season. Uh, I'm going to be taking over a presenter role and also media manager. Um, and it's a busy role. It's a very busy role. There's a lot of attention on the girls this season and, and rightly so. I mean, I just mentioned there we had the fantastic 15 new signings. The investment in the team has been incredible this season. So, you know, it's onwards and upwards. And it's, um, it's been a really exciting time to be a part of the club behind the scenes this time. You said about the team there. Well, the whole team, the women's team, are watching today ahead of their first game in the championship tomorrow. Is there a strong connection now between the two teams? Massively. I think, um, you know, we've had a very similar start of the season to the men's team. You know, they've had Arsenal, they've had Liverpool, uh, you know, now a big challenge today. And the same is for the same goes for us, really, with their, with London City Lionesses. They've been pushing for promotion now for a couple of years. They're one of the first clubs in the championship to go full time and, and professional. And, you know, it's going to be a really tough challenge tomorrow, but it's a, a tough challenge that we're really, really relishing. And even so, sort of, um, you know, next week we've got Coventry. They were battling relegation last uh, last season. A couple of uh, administrative um, issues going on, but they've overcome that. And the last um, end of their season was absolutely huge, getting win after win after win. So um, yeah, it's been a it's going to be a challenging one, but it's a challenge we we're really looking forward to. Hey, so looking ahead to the game today, how's the mood after that point at Anfield? Would you say? The mood's fantastic. I think, um, you know, there were points in that game that we really could have walked away with the win. So, you know, I think it's a big testament, actually, to the investment and the kind of leadership uh, that, that Patrick's got going on at the, uh, at the men's club. There seems to be a really good vibe around training. Everyone's happy. There's big smiles. Um, everyone's really excited for how we're going to do this season. So, um, yeah, it feels really positive. I like how you mentioned Patrick Vieira, um, actually, because, what, he came in and Palace finished 12th in the Premier League last season. What has he brought to the club as a whole, would you say? How has he changed things, Chloe? Well, he's been a fantastic leader. And I, um, I mean a leader in terms of the whole club, you know, behind the scenes staff and also the playing staff, coaching staff. You know, there's a real fantastic, really buzzing vibe around the squad. And, you know, he brings with him a lot of confidence. He's obviously got a lot of experience. He's been there, done that before. He's obviously won major international trophies. And um, he's imparting that wisdom and experience on the players and also maintain that level of calm, subtle, quiet that we just know that it's, um, it's going to be a big season, but we feel quietly confident about it. Well, good to hear, Chloe. Thank you for joining us on Football Focus and good luck for the season. Cheers, thank you. I like that. Calm, very calm, like in the studio right now. 